Hi, scholars. This is Mrs. Bowers um, coming to you all bundled up because of the crazy snow that's going on outside. Um, so today I just want to do a little refresher. I had a lot of scholars who were out absent today. So hopefully they can view this video and see what they missed out on today. Um, but today we started our new chapter on multiplying fractions. Last unit we were adding and subtracting fractions. This chapter, we're multiplying fractions. And then the next chapter will be dividing fractions. Multiplying and dividing fractions is a, um, is a concept that is heavily tested, usually, on the New York State fifth grade math test. So I really want to take my time and really explain to the scholars um, some different strategies that they can use when it comes to multiplying and dividing fractions. So as you can see, I already have an example on the board. It's four, fifth, four fifths times 20. 20 is a whole number. Four fifths, of course, is a fraction. So the first step that we're going to take is we need to choose a strategy. Now, I've only taught this for one day, so I only have one strategy to show you. And of course, as the days progress on and we get deeper into this chapter, you'll see videos of different strategies. And I always tell my students, um, my job as an educator is to show you the different strategies that you can use to solve. And then your job as a scholar and as a learner is to choose which strategy works best for you. So my first problem is four fifths times 20. I'm going to use a strategy called drawing an array. An array is just a visual representation of a numerical expression. So the first place I'm gonna look is my denominator. I have a five in the denominator. So I'm gonna draw five disks, one, two, three, four, and five. Why five? Because five is in my denominator. Next, I'm gonna continue on making groups of five until I get to 20, because 20 is my whole number. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry for the interruption. There was early dismissal today because of the snow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm going to stop there because twenty is my whole number. Now, if you look in the numerator, you'll see that the numerator is four. So I'm going to count off the first four rows of my array and I'm going to box it. One two, three, four. I'm going to box my array. Count up how many disks you have inside your array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So my product is 16. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna do one more example for you before I sign off and drive home in this crazy snow. We're gonna use the same strategy of using an array. My scholars who were here today were like, oh my gosh, Mrs. Bowers, this is so easy. I love this strategy. Oh, let's do two thirds of 12. Okay, let's do two thirds times 12. So the first step, of course, we're gonna draw an array, choose your strategy. When I do my strategy of drawing an array, I'm going to look at my denominator and I see the number three. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three. I'm gonna to continue to, to count by my threes until I reach my whole number, which is 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I'm gonna stop there because 12 is my whole number. Now I'm going to look at my numerator, which is two. That tells me I need to count off the first two rows of my array and I'm going to box them. Next, you're gonna count 
how many discs are inside that box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kiddos, your product is eight. That's what you're doing tonight for homework for Go Math 7.1. All right, good luck. See you tomorrow.